Kimba, this is Shaman College, and this is our live Earth Prayers gathering. Welcome. Hmm. I thought I would uh, welcome you into my preparation, or a little bit of my preparation. Uh, I guess you could say um, heart connection before we begin. This is a, it's really becoming a, a global gathering. So some of us come in live and many people actually join us later. And we've got people that are friends of Shaman College that live all over. Um, so as you start to come in, please uh, sit and find your comfortable place. And once you come to your place that you're sitting, already begin to open up, open your doors to others, to other people who are coming in to join us. So that's what we begin with, sitting, opening the doors. Uh, many of the people you will never meet, and I will never meet. Uh, maybe someday we will in some way. But nonetheless, we're opening the doors because we all are sharing something that is beyond our, what we look like, beyond our language, beyond our, our uh, color, beyond our cultures. Uh, we all are sharing something that is much deeper much uh, there. Mm. Unquantifiable. <laughs> That's what we share. We share that unquantifiableness. Okay. So please, uh, I always recommend that you sit in a way that you feel that your body has a, has a, a range of freedom in it because we work with our bodies as the vessels of our communion and we work with our bodies as the vessels of our uh, expression. So it's important to sit in a way that you feel like, so I can move, I can move, I can flex, I can extend, I can rock my pelvis forward and back, the, the spine, can lift and the spine could drop. So those are the things um, I recommend that you look for when you start to get into your place. That might mean sitting on a cushion or 
getting your feet on the ground if you're on a chair. Okay. <clears throat> so as you find yourself here, you can uh, close your eyes if you'd like. And let your breath move. Let yourself notice your breath is moving. But you don't have to breathe in any particular way. A simple noticing that your breath is moving is enough. As you're sitting here, connect with the place that you're sitting on. So that little point, that point on the earth, wherever you are. As humans, we have the ability to get up and walk over to another point and sit on that place. We have the ability to travel to other places, which of course has now been uh, kind of drawn in a bit with our latest uh, consciousness of, of helping each other stay healthy. So I guess what I'm saying is connect to that place that you're on right now. This is your direct connection for this moment to Mother Earth. And as we're sitting here, let yourself get very quiet. The world, the human world outside is quieter than usual right now. I don't know if you can sense it. but it's quieter. There are less cars. There are less trains. There are fewer flights. There is a less bustle in the shops. So in some ways, the world is quieter right now. Opening your ability to listen. We listen with our ears, yes. But this is a listening through all of the cells of your body. Like every little cell, every little hair on your body, every little follicle is listening. Listening with your whole self. When the light pollution 
lessons, we see the stars more clearly. When the sound pollution lessens, what do we hear? Let your breath move. Let yourself listen into this world. You might even hear your own breath. You might feel the subtle movement of your body as you breathe. Yes, I still have traffic outside of my home in my garden. but it's, there are spaces between the sounds that I don't usually experience. Mother Earth, as we get very quiet, We come to you with this silence. We come to you with this new, fresh learning of how to listen. We've had cotton in our ears. Our cells of perception have been clogged a bit. Through this listening, we wash ourselves. We wake up our ability to listen. We can come again, Mother Earth, as we did when we were children to your soil. As we did when we first played in the waters.
as we did when we first let the branches of your trees hold us. We're learning again to listen to you. Thank you for your open arms. Thank you for your fresh fruit. And thank you to the animal kingdom the animal kingdom that is very connected to their listening. They've always been showing us how to listen. We are in a very large state of remembering right now. A large state of releasing that cotton, that buffering. What animal is taking your hand right now? Is it a four-legged? Is it an insect or bird? Is it a water one? What animal is reaching to you? Maybe there's more than one. Who is guiding you right now? This may be one of your animals that you connect to already. Or it may be one that has arrived right now for you. As a messenger, as an ally, And what do they have to teach you about listening as a state of being? About coming home.
thank them. You may return to them later as well to assist you. Listening as a path of the heart. Listening as a path of the heart to Mother Earth. We send our love and our gratitude to all of life. All of life. Life under the stones. Life in the treetops. Life in the waters. Children, elders, all stages of this beautiful process. Life given, and finally, as we sit here, feel the continuum of Mother Earth and you your form, your consciousness, whatever barrier that is between you and her, Let it uh, be recognized as such a thin construction. Only a costume that you wear. Taking a few breaths. Air touching soil, soil touching water. Light reflecting and refracting, creating form.
life dancing with life, breathing. If you um, feel ready, you can start to open your eyes. And Notice that even though your eyes are open, that the full listening can still happen. And this might be uh, something that you can experiment with throughout your day and the days to come is um, how you can work with your visual sense, but at the same time be working with your body's felt sense of listening. You don't have to turn off your full body's sense of listening. when you take in the visual sense. Also, you may have been visited in this meditation by uh, an animal and they are bringing you messages today. You might say, oh, but I just kind of invented that. I just thought of that animal. That's okay. I always say, well, why'd you think of that one? That one came into your consciousness. So there, they are here for you. They're helping you today. Thank you for joining us. And If you'd like to, inside your own heart, to send a gratitude out to all beings that join you in this, join us in this, no matter what time or what place, let's say thank you to everybody. We are all needed. Okay. See you next time.